Hello lovelies, it's she here from Golden Thread Terror and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message is running you blessed and full of abundance as always, my sweets. Okay, so let's go ahead. I feel like somebody here is about to go through a real awakening. Or like a really, really, really big awakening of this very kind of sensual energy. I don't know why I said it like that. Sensual. <laughs> it feels very feminine. It feels very... You know, like, I'm in my bag. I'm in my, ooh. Like I feel it. It feels like the universe is giving to me and I'm giving to the universe. Yeah, it feels like this really good balance of, like, shadow and light energy. It feels like this really good balance of, like, masculine feminine energy. Um, it feels slightly more feminine than masculine, but it's this really good balance. Somebody here definitely could be being, because I saw the ritual card and the initiation card, too. Somebody here could be really being initiated into, like, I feel like there is an awakening of their feminine energy happening here. We have a witch healer card here happening, too. Mm. Let's get into it a little bit more. What? Uh, come on now. Come on now. Somebody's foundation is being, like, re-evaluated or is being, like... Yeah. We have the incubation and the... Wand, wand intention card. If I'm not mistaken, this Ostera card, isn't that like the summer solstice, which I think is like tomorrow from the day that I'm filming this. It could be, I could be putting this out on the day of... Oh, dang it. Oh, there it was. I went past it twice. <laughs> there it is. Um, no, so this is the, also is the spring equinox. So we're having the summer equinox tomorrow. But someone here could have been, you know, like somebody set the intention. You could have set the intention during spring. Okay. So kind of, I could, I could, I could, I could have guessed that with the egg kind of energy here. But like, there is this, I set the intention to, to grow and to, and to prosper. You must un, uh, allow things to unfold naturally. The seeds planted, yes, need time to, to, uh, to, um, to nurture deep within the earth. And even though these seedlings may now be appearing, you are yet to witness them grow into full bloom. So have patience at this time of incubation for the development of any projects, wishes, spells, or dreams you have birth, you have breath energy into. Everything is simmering under the surface and the timing is perfect to bring the best results. Yeah. And again, it says down here, this is the time of balance between light and dark. I'm not even playing y'all. It's just, that shit says that. Look at that. This is the time of balance between light and dark. Did I not just say that? Hmm. <laughs> Come on now. Homecoming. The hearth homecoming card. Come on now. You are in need of a good old fashioned oh, good old fashioned nurturing. So nurture these seeds you're planting. You have been planting some seeds? Okay, spirit saying you better nurture them, you better water them. Okay, cleanse. Look, look at that, the water. What did I just say? Oh my goodness gracious! Sorry, I got a little high pitch there, but I'm just like goodness gracious, spirit. Just talk about it. Come on now, come on now. Somebody's in the process of uh, starting to grow, starting to bud, starting to bloom. Okay, you might have been um, in a, kind of like a winter phase of your of your practice or of your. Um, of your life right now or you could have i think i think it's like like a, a defrosting you know kind of like an awakening happening okay yeah. mm. i mean and we go through many winter and spring and summer phases in our spiritual journey and our blossoming of our character of ourselves of of who we are you know uh that we all have to go into hermit mode sometimes and then we get to pop out in you know in our king and queen energy you know because we're fostering and going through that process of 
going to the page, the night energy. Okay, there's the ritual again, the union card. I really feel like, and um, come on now, and then the six of cups is on the back of the deck too here with the world card, which again is is kind of more like is is, is kind of remind me of like the ritual card. Okay, so I feel like some of you are definitely trying to come on now. Some of you are really trying to manifest in this energy right here. This is what you're incubating. This is what you're trying to grow. Right here in this feminine energy. You have set the intention to be like, Spirit, I want to grow into this right here. I kind of want to shake off the frost of the winter time. Okay, look. And there's the Hearth Homecoming card. It's coming. You're in need of like some good, some really good nurturing energy to yourself right now. Because that is going to bring intensification to the awakening that you are going through. Come on now. I said what I said, what I motherfucking said. Hmm. Intensification. Of this hand fasting union. Yeah. I feel like spirit is going to be working with you heavy right now. Like if you really allow it, spirit is really going to be showing up and like really showing out in your life right now. You are really going to be given, okay, the tools that you really need to really... To really start this journey. Like I said, you're going on this page journey. Okay, it's time to really start. Because it's really, it's, it's an auspicious moment right now. Okay? okay? It's really divine time. is is heavy at play. And the divine energy is really heavy at play in your life right now. But you have to be in the mindset to see it as that. Okay? Exactly. <gasps> Look. It's the Ace of Wands again. Stability. Stability. And funny, on the stability card, the person has a ring that look that's a pinnacle ring. So they have the staff, so they have the ace of wands and and the ace of pentacles right here. They're being given an opportunity to grow this, okay? To really grow this. And what did I what I say, right? Come on. It starts with the one, so it can end up here. Come on now. Okay, spirit. Okay. Oh. Guardian familiar. So if you're worried about this pentacle energy coming in, it's being protected. Okay. It definitely could come in the 3D in the form of a guardian, of a pet, of a familiar. Some kind of really 3D world stability. Something that's going to add a lot of stability. It's a contract here. It's a contract, a soul contract to bring in a lot of grounding energy after clearing out a lot of this old energy. So spirit is encouraging you to clear out some old energy, clear out any kind of stagnant or old energy so that it can bring a lot of grounding energy. Okay. So that for some of you, this is about, you know, clearing out your closets, clearing, clearing out, you know, metaphorically and physically, you know, clearing out your mind, clearing out old mindsets. Okay. Cause you're in, come on now. Cause you're in the spring, you're in the spring of your life. It's coming. It's coming. This oh, this reawakening is happening. Yes, you went through the winter time. You went through this death process, and the spring is coming. Your power, come on now. And then look, there's the pentacle again. Your your power is growing. Your security, okay. Your security and your power. With that security, that cottage security and this power, this is what, this is really reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands energy right here. It's growing. It's intensifying. There's a really big emphasis on cl cleansing out, clearing out, cleansing out. Really cleansing and clearing your physical space. Your mental, emotional, physical space. Opening up your heart space and being ready. Okay. Definitely for some of you, this ancestors remembering energy here. Oh, okay. They're guiding me to read the book before I talk on it. They're like, don't speak on it. We want you to read the book about it. So I said, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I did want to... Okay, the in, like because I was because I really felt guided with this intensification card. I was kind of getting a read the book too, and then I opened it up right on it. So I was like, I know that there's something here they want me. The in the intensification of the full sun at 
Litha, Litha. I'm not saying that right, but it's okay. Shines upon you um, as you step up to the next level. This is a time of focus, development, and determination as you gain strength and reclaim your inner resolve. Come on now, dare to explore every avenue before you and do and do the unexpected. A new gateway has opened, and you may may find may. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. <laughs> a new gateway has opened and you may find that you leave others behind as your unwavering dedication leads you away. Fear not for the light of the sun will, will highlight the path of unfamiliar territory and borrow, if you will, um, the sun's strength and warmth as you embrace these times of, of study, focus, and concentration. Diversions may tempt you along the way. You may feel blind for a while as you stumble uh, upon the unknown, but try to remember that these are merely tests of your commitment. The sun god shine favorably on you and decide that you, uh, that you, uh, and remind you, excuse me, that the answer to prayer and the outcome of spell work happens in mysterious ways. Trust the great mystery. Ooh. Okay. Beautiful. I love, yeah. Just go ahead and sum up everything I've been saying, Spirit. Love that. Okay. Wait. Oopsie. There it is. And then here we are again talking about obstacles. So if you're going through obstacles on your way right now, if you're kind of doubting yourself, you're having fears, come on now. Spirit says, no, no, no need for all that. The obstacles you are experiencing are connected to the past. You're holding on way too tightly. Now is the is the right time to finally let go. Remembering those who have walked before you and understand these ways will help you to release any hurts and pains. Healing ancestral lines will enable you to break free and step into the freedom of your soul that your soul yearns for to the whole uh, to be whole and complete. Remembrance asks you to honor the ancestors for those who lived their lives trusting in, recognizing and interacting with the spirits of the land and living in accordance with the magical law of nature. Call upon their wisdom to assist you in, in awakening to the magic of the old ways of the days when nature was respected and the natural balance, come on now, in all things was <laughs> ensured. Remember to who you are, come on Simba, remember who you are <laughs> and where you have come from and honor yourself for, <laughs> for never giving up as you walk in the footsteps of your ancestors. Come on now. Come on now. You definitely have a, like a really strong feminine energy with you right now. Definitely could be an ancestral energy that's really trying to help you through this awakening right now. That's trying to remind you that even though you might be going through a hard time right now, although you might be stumbling through the unknown, you might be a bit blind, you might not be able to see as, as clearly as you want to, that you are in the spring of your life, that you're in the awakening, that yeah, when you go through all those months, all those years of winter, when the sun finally comes out, it can seem blinding at first, right? You might not know, like, is this, is the winter, you know, is the snow really going to melt away? Are those, those, those seeds that I planted, are they really going to come back up? You're starting to see them sprout. So trust and believe in yourself. Okay. Now is the time for you to know that those seeds are starting to sprout. They're coming up. Okay. And balance is going to come to you. Hmm. Book of Shadows secret. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really feel like um, your spirit guides are going to be really sharing kind of like uh, secrets, secrets to success, secrets to where you should be going, where you should, and also to I'm I'm really getting a strong like move in silence energy right now. Okay. Because with that, I heard a real, not everybody is your friend. And, we're, and again, I don't say that to try to, <clears throat> to drum up any drama, to drum up any, any accusations or finger pointing or fear or anything like that. But what's true is true. Not everybody that you're going to meet out there is your friends. And it did talk about how you might be leaving some people behind. Understand that. That doesn't mean that they don't love you or they don't care about you. They just might not be the right soul for you to be around right now. And that's okay. Okay. And if they're truly your friend, they'll understand that you have to spend some time by yourself or that you have to focus on yourself or that, you know, maybe you're just growing 
and glowing right now. Okay? Some of these people you will leave behind permanently. And some of these people, you know, you're just in hermit mode right now so that you can grow. Okay? Goodness gracious, I got really hung up. Some of y'all are having a hard time uh, letting something go or letting some people go or realizing the truth about some things, which sometimes it can be hard for us to because because spirit could tell us, hey, you need to spend less time around the person or hey, you need to get away from doing this. And you're just like, how is this bad? And the spirit is like, I'm not saying that it's bad or I'm not saying that they're that they're a secret enemy or that you're they're really preying on your downfall. Maybe just they're going through some karma or they're going through some rough times and it just doesn't benefit you for your energy to be mixing with that that person, that place, whatever it is. P -p 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 okay, come on now. The light is shining on you right now, okay? With the star card here. Spirit's love is shining on you to tell you to open up your heart, to really get in to your wish fulfillment era right now. Because that's what you're being guided to do. And not everything that Spirit shares with you right now is going to be for you to run and tell everybody about. Some things are for you to keep to yourself. Write them down in a journal. Make some notes to yourself, okay? But also, it is really time to leave behind this past. You know, the feeling that feelings from the past. It's time to let those go, okay? It's really, really time to let those go. Because your wish fulfillment is here, Empress. Come on now. Come on now. I feel like a lot of you know what this, I know what this, you know, five of cups energy is. You know, it's in your past. You know what you're trying to let go of. What's really going to help? I, I really want to, I want to focus on solutions. Okay. What's really going to help them to, come on. I said that, right? Come on. Spirit said, wait, wait, wait. We just needed to get this out right quick. <laughs> Okay, look at this. I do believe that you guys are going to be helped in the 3D. I, I I got that too. Like you're going to be you're going to be receiving gifts in the 3D, help in the 3D, not just in spirit, in the forms of yes, for some of you financial help, for some of you new jobs, new locations, new opportunities, new friends. Okay, new new passion endeavors and projects to work on. Okay, it's going to be things that are giving back as much as you are giving back. Okay. The sun is coming out to tell you, hey, that there's some really exciting new things coming your way. All right. And it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. Because like I said, sometimes we just have to realize, I'm not saying that, you know, that, oh, your friend or somebody might be having a hard time. Now's the time to get away from them. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. I'm just saying that sometimes we really need, you know, like if you want to be, um, you know how people say it's like, oh, if you want to be, if you want to be on a certain level, hang around people who either want to be on that certain, on that same level as you are striving toward, or they're already there, right? If you're trying to save money, hanging around a bunch of people that don't save money, that just spend money all the time is not going to help you, right? Um, it's not going to promote that energy that you want to be in. If you're trying to start a business, if you're trying, you know, to learn a particular skill or craft, hanging out with people who just do the same thing over and over again, that aren't committed to, to, you know, moving themselves forward, that aren't committed to being on, on, on an evolutionary path that does not serve you. It does not serve you. So that's kind of the vibe that spirit is on. They're not telling you that you can't be friends with those people anymore, or that you can't hang out and, you know, have a good time occasionally, but like, it, it's really time to start being around some people, some energies, some places. Like for some of you, this is about getting a job and understanding that this new job that you're going to get, the people that are there are much more on your vibe, on your level. Okay. And it's a being about surrounded by like energy, by people who are really trying to, to accomplish the same things that you're trying to accomplish, you know, that are trying to, to, to go down those same, those same roads. Right. So say that you're, that you're trying to get your body right. Okay. Um, only hanging out with the person who never wants to go to the gym, who never wants to work out, who is just still eating whatever they want to misusing and abusing their body. They always want to go out to fast food restaurants. You know, they're trying to eat pizza every day. That's, not going to do you well, right? That's not going to do you well. Mm. 
You know, it's about finding balance, Spirit is saying. Yeah. And, and this is a choice. You know, you've been kind of hesitating on making this choice. You need to go ahead and, and make it, okay? You need to see it for what it really is because you're, you're holding a lot of blinders up to your face because you don't want to see, you know, that maybe the situation that you're in right now is not the healthiest for you, you know? Um, yeah. All right, yeah. The the company that you keep right now is very important. Spirit is saying it's very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. This is really about self-development right now. That's, that's what I'm really getting, self-development. Things are about to start moving in the 3D is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm, the moon. Things need to be more balanced here. Yeah, because, yeah, because whatever energy or whatever you're being around or you're participating in or whatever thought process, it's really keeping you in this energy right here, okay? It's really keeping you in this energy right here, and it's not good for you. You need to gain your independence from this. This you energy, you phosphor, you um, fostering good healthy connections good healthy mindsets of in the people around you is really really important um also i mean having good boundaries too but yeah it's really really important who you're partnering up with right now so be you know who you're spending the most time with who you're partnering up with who you're spending you know i feel like a lot of you are going to be gifted i mean for some of you this could be like a new best friend a new partner a new business partner yeah it's justice Things are going to be equal between you and this person because you have a very similar, you have a very similar background and you both have similar goals to be like, I don't want to go back to that background. I want to move on to the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I think that whatever you were participating in in the past, um, I felt like it really, it was like this kind of commiserating. It definitely could have been, um, Could have been some kind of trauma bond. It doesn't have to be like a really heavy, but there's something here about like this old energy keeps you in this energy right here. It keeps you in this heartbreaker. It keeps you in old energy. Yeah. Come on now. There's like this uh, upgrade, right? If you're wanting to be an empress, you need to hang out with emperors. Okay. If you're trying to be an emperor, you know, you're trying to be an emperor, you need to start hanging out with empress energy. Okay. Will of fortune. It's 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 coming. The light is gonna be shown on this. Like if you're wondering, like, who is this? What is this? You know, what's going on here? It, it's coming. It's about to be like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I see where I'm going here. I'm see what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah. Um, and, and it is like a you know, like an ending energy from of the past energy. And that's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. It might be a little, you know, I don't want to say traumatic. Uh, it might be a little bit of turmoil kicked up at first, but um, everything's going, um, is, is going to go your way, okay? Yeah. This is going to come to you, you know, or if you're being asked to be an emperor energy, you pop out and uh, go ahead, go ahead, reach out. Yeah, you're manifesting this in. This is coming in. This is coming in for you. Yeah. I, I I do feel like, yeah, I do feel like for some of you, this is the indication of some kind of breakup. It could be an end, um, the end of a friendship, the end of a really close relationship with a, a family member or... Um, it could be a romantic relationship. It could be your relationship. Like I said, your relationship to, it could also be something like your relationship to food, your relationship to money, your relationship, you know, it's like a, there's like an ending here that needs to happen so that this new growth can come out, right? Can pop out. 
Um, yeah, the spirit is saying like there's weeds in the garden. There's weeds in the garden that need to be that need to be plucked so that they don't strangle out the life of this awakening here. Somebody here actually has like quite, and I don't mean this in like a bad way, that somebody here actually has like quite ugly energy and it might be kind of hidden to you, okay? But it might be revealed. It might be coming to be revealed to you. You know, it, it could be one of those situations where finally you're just like, you know what? Like, what the hell? You know, it, it's something like that. The hell? Speaking of what the hell, something here is like, Cause I felt that out of nowhere and I looked down and there's a freaking, what you call it on me? Uh, a mosquito on me. Um, there's a little bit of vampiric energy here. I'm not even going to lie. It's, it's, a, it's a little there. It's like, Hey, you need some boundaries here. There's like some drama here that you need to, you need to divorce yourself from. You need to walk away from, you need to be, it needs to be expunged from your life. Yeah, spirit is trying to negotiate this kind of like this kind of mediate this kind of like um like peaceful separation kind of energy. Yeah, there's something here like spirit's like, nope. Somebody here is kind of like a block. And like I said, it doesn't mean that they're like a bad person, but it just means that they're not the most healthy energy for you to be around right now. And spirit is saying, like, we're having to come in kind of like the mass avenger and, you know, desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society of oneself. Exactly. There is a, a need to balance out something because something or someone that you're being attracted, that you're being, that you have around you right now is actually keeping you out of balance more than you feel like, you know, um, something, something is keeping you out of balance more than you feel like, more than you think. And I'm hearing spirit say something like a separation is in, imminent. A separation is in, is is imminent. God, cruelty, using power to control people. Hmm. What is the what is this energy spirit? Can you give me a little bit more details about this lover? For some of you, it's a lover. Okay. Or for some of you, this is really somebody that you have a lot of love for, or that you have a lot of care or a lot of love for. Um, but this this energy, yeah, this energy is always looking at you to rescue them. Okay? They have a hole in them that they're always expecting you, specifically you or other people outside of them. It's an energy here where it's like you pour and pour and pour into it, and it's never enough. It's kind of the energy that it's giving me. Um Um, and this person could show up in this kind of orphaned energy, which again is uh, they showed me the three of swords in my mind. So this this could be the kind of energy where it's you know um, where there's kind of this like um, you might have gone through the same things in your childhood, or it's like oh that's my friend, they understand me in a way that nobody else does, or that's my brother, that's my sister, that's my whoever, you know they they've been down for me, or that's my cousin, or that's whoever. There is some energy of gossip here, okay? There is some energy of some kind of energy that you're unaware of. Awakens consideration for the feelings of others, honoring trust. Again, with this shadow attribute, thrives in the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidence. Again, there's this vibe of like secret keeping here. Like keep your business to yourself right now. Like I said, there is just some people that they're not giving you good advice or they're not giving you like they could be giving you advice that they from their point of view is good advice. But that doesn't mean it's good advice for, for you. It might work for them, but that doesn't mean that it's right for you. It might from their 
spirit is saying from their karmic perspective, they really think they're trying to help you out or they're really giving you advice that would work for them or for their path or for what they're trying to accomplish. But that, you know, like I said, I'm not getting like a super bad, like this person is malicious. They're trying to take you down. They're trying to destroy your empire or anything like that. I'm really not getting something like that deep, but there is a sense here of this person is just on a level where I, I feel like you are trying like you are trying to fill up this hole inside of yourself but this person is always is always going to is always until they're ready they're going to show up in this energy right and they're going to show up in this energy of you pouring into them right they're heavily dependent on your energy more than you think they drain your energy more than you think And with this, for some of this, this is you. Like this is you telling this person your secret, telling your per telling this person your plans, and it just, it's just not in your best interest to do that right now. Uh, why is it not? Why is it not in their best interest to do this right now, Spirit? And pretty much everything I've already said. Thief! Oh my goodness! For some of you, these people are going to take your ideas. Stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. Hmm. Again, with this heart energy. Again, right? This person is taking your energy way more than... This person is always in the damsel energy. They're always waiting for somebody else to save them, regardless of their gender, who, whoever they identify as. Like I said, you are this energy that always is giving and giving and pouring and pouring and pouring. But this person is always going to have this want and this need for that and they are always going to be like keep pouring in me keep pouring in me keep pouring in me because this person is still on the level of it's still on the level of looking outside of themselves to fill that hole well i think you collective are really on the the vibe of looking inside of yourself, pouring from your own cup, you know, looking to God, looking to, looking, uh, to heal, right. To heal this heart energy, right. You are trying to heal this and you're, you are healing this, but there is this kind of energy of like, show up for me, pour into me. And it will always be a hole that you will never be able to pour enough into to fill. Other people in this person's life can't pour enough into them to fill up that hole. Like it's always going to be there because it is a hole that needs to be filled by themselves. By themselves. And I do believe this person is starting to understand that. They are starting to get it. But it's kind of this vibe of like, okay, well, this person, you're on level 10 and this person is still on level five. And you're like, well, can I just hang around and wait for this person to get to level 10? No, because you need to go on to level 20. You need to go on to a level 10, 11, 12, and they can catch up. Okay. And again, like I said, I don't feel like because this person is at a level five, they, you know, they really aren't going to give you the, the, the energy that you need at level 10. They're not going to give you the, the energy that's going, they're not going to give you the advice or they're not going to give you the, the, the energy to get to a level 11 or 12. They're only, they can only give you advice or they can only give you um, that energy at level five and that's it. But you're at a level 10. And like I said before, you need to be around energy right now that is at a level 10 or higher or even higher. You know, if you're trying to get to level 20, you need to be hanging out around people who are who are trying to get to a level 20. At the very least, you need to be trying to hang out with people who are a level 10, you know. And this isn't like a, you're better than this person. You're more advanced than this person sort of type thing. But it is like, that's kind of how spirit is like, you're no better than this person. You know, like this person, you know, they're at level five and that's all they can do. All they can do is do things at level five. And that is what it is. Like it doesn't make their, it doesn't make them a bad person. It doesn't make them whatever, you know, this person is still dealing with things that you've already healed. Okay. And because of that, they are in this energy here still while you have already healed it while you are ready to move on and this person might always be bringing up the past might always keep you in this energy of the past because this person is still trying to heal their past right 
You know, this could be the person that's always talking about the past energy. That's always bringing up the past or is always, I don't know, something like that. Right? Or just because this person might be in the past, maybe they always bring out this past heartbreak, heart energy, you know, you start hanging out with this person and you start mimicking a level five instead of being at a level 10. And Spirit's like, no, 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 you don't need to go backwards. And there's nothing against this person. They're a fine person. You know, they're just, they're just on a level five and you need to be around people who are level 10 or above. And again, like I want to say, there's nothing wrong with this person. They're just, they're just not there with you. And this, and like I said, this doesn't have to be a per, specifically a per, like a single person. This could be an environment. This could be a group of friends or a group of family. This could be about your family. This could be about the fact that you're always trying to break out of those, you know, those familiar curses and you got a family, you got family members that are like, why you want to go to college? Why you want to educate yourself? Why you want to, why you want to do better? Why you want to do that? All these people are still at level five. You're trying to be at level 10 and you're trying to explain to them level 10. They're not ready to read the level 10 books. So you're sitting here trying to, to describe level 10 activities and level 10 worksheets to people who that's way beyond what they're what they're ready to digest, what they're able to digest, what they're able to do. And they're going to look at you like you're crazy because it's like, what? Like, what's wrong, you know? And these people might even look at you like, what's wrong with being a level five? And you're like, there's nothing wrong with being a level five. I just don't want to be there. I just, I grew past that. What's wrong with being a level five? What's wrong with doing this? What's wrong with doing that? I, that's fine for you if that's what you want, but that's not what I want. I want more. You know, you're already outpacing these people or you're already outpacing the growth of these people or of this place. You know, this could be a community. This could be a workplace, you know, and you're just kind of like you're, you're trying to explain things that are beyond that are flying over people's heads, you know, and they're either going to just sit there and look at you like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Or they might get, they might even get mad. They might start judging you. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, you guys know that like that TikTok sound where it's like, Oh, Mr. Fancy Pants McGee, fuck you. How do you even spell chauffeur? You know, <laughs> Oh, Mr. Fancy Pants McGee, fuck you. That kind of energy, like you might be getting that kind of energy where it's just like, well, and you're like, well, I can clearly tell that the situation that you're in or the advice that you're giving is a little bit toxic. And this person is like, what's wrong with it? And it's like, it's just not, it's just not the direction that I'm being guided to go in. And it's, it's not this person's fault and it's not your fault, Right. They're just not going to understand it because you're just at a different level. You're coming at it from a different vibration. You know, you're coming from vibration B and they're on vibration, you know, <laughs> vibration circle. And you're like vibration D and they're like, that doesn't even make sense. I'm talking about circle vibration and you're talking about letters. What are you, what, you know, they're not going to, they're not necessarily going to get it. And that, and like I said, again, I just want to, yeah. Child divine, you're, you're trying a healer. Come on. You're trying to, you're, you're kind of on a different level. You're trying to do something different that these people, it is, it is, it either isn't their lifetime to do it or their, their, it's not their time. You know, it's not their time yet. Angel. And I feel like for a lot of you, like you're very far, like I said, you're very far advanced beyond these people and they kind of look at you like what what other level are you on you know and there's and you kind of look at these people and you're like uh you're still being you know controlled by strings that you don't even see i can see the strings because i i was out of five and when i was out of five i didn't see my strings and then once i got once i got beyond that I was able to look back and be like, oh, there were all these strings. There was all this programming. There was all this conditional energy that I was attached to that I can actually think outside of because I've cut those strings. I've, I've made bigger, better boundaries for myself. I, I know more now, so I'm trying to do better. But these people, they can only see 
what they see. They can't see their strings yet. They can't see how their karma or their, or, you know, their upbringing is controlling them in a way that yours isn't anymore. And it might be very frustrating, you know? Um, yeah, but I really feel like a lot of you are, you're trying to make a person who is just not ready yet or trying to make people who are just not ready to be on that level, who just literally can't see things the way that you see them, you know, but you're looking for a person who can't, you're looking for that person who, who is on that same vibe as you, who is growing in the way that you're growing. And you're just, you're really outgrowing a lot of the people, places, things, mindsets, other things that are around you. Yeah. And so spirit is saying like, hey, it, it, it's time to stand up because for a lot of you, this is a lot of like, you know, fighting, conflict, action. Um, You know, like I said, <laughs> I'm hearing that again. How do you spell chauffeur? It's like, oh, this is how you spell. Oh, well, look at you. Rich, fancy pants McGee. Fuck you. Oh, you think you're so much better than that? It's like, no, I don't. I could just see things differently than you do. You know, and I hate, but I'm I'm just, I, there's this energy of just going round and around and around and around and around and around and around and as much as you might want, you know, I mean, it's like sitting down and you can have a master's degree, but that doesn't mean that you can take a college level textbook and teach it to fifth graders and, and it's going to make sense to them, you know? Like there's just concepts that are so beyond what they, and it's not their fault. They're fifth graders, you know, and it's not your fault. You have a master's degree and you, you know this and you're trying to teach these fifth graders, but it's just, it's beyond what these people or what this place or what, what they're ready. It's beyond their, their challenge level. You know, it's, it, they, it's too challenging for them. But like I said, it's not their fault. They're fifth graders. They should be reading a fifth grade level book, textbook. But you're sitting here like giving a college dissertation, a master's degree, college dissertation to people who are just like, what are you even trying to say? What do those fucking words even mean? You know? And it doesn't mean for you to have like a, oh, you're just so slow, you're unawakened, you're this, you're that. No. Even if those people, well, fuck you, fancy pants, rich, Maggie, you know, understand. And, oh my gosh, spirit just said, bless their heart. Don't do that spirit. Um, but it's, it's that kind of energy where it's just kind of like, it's okay. It's okay. It's not, don't take it personally, you know, set your boundaries. Don't take it personally. It's not really an attack on you. It's really it's really projection energy, but it's hard not to take it personally. If you have friends or family members who are just like, oh, you think you're so fancy? Oh, you want to go off and you want to educate yourself? What's wrong? What's wrong with being a blue collar worker? Nothing. I just don't want it for myself. It's just not for me. I have dreams that are bigger than that. Well, what's wrong with just having dreams and just working out wherever? nothing. That's fine. You can work there. You can do that. If that's your ambitions, I'm happy for you. If that satisfies you, I'm happy for you. You know, but a lot of these people, they aren't satisfied where they are, but they're mad at you for not settling like they settle. They settle. And you're like, well, I don't want to settle like you. Well, what's wrong with settling like me? Well, you don't even want to be where you are. So why do you want me to be there? You don't like where you are, do you? No, I hate it where I am. Okay, so why why are you having this? Well, what's wrong with it? Nothing. But I would encourage you, if you don't like it, to get out too. I would encourage you to do better too. I would encourage you to push yourself beyond to, to follow your dreams too. Like nothing's holding you back but your own limitations. But those strings that you don't see. There are no strings on me. Yeah, I just heard that. Wow. So for some of you, you know, I'm a real boy. You're trying to become a real boy, right? And these other people are like, what's wrong with being a wooden puppet? What's wrong with being on strings? And you're like, nothing if that's what you want, but that's not what I want. What's wrong with wanting to be a real boy? What, 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 what? Well, I would love to be a real boy. Okay, so why don't you become a real boy? 
but what's wrong with being wooden? Yeah, that's fine. You can be whatever you want to. What's wrong with me wanting more? But that discord, that going back and forth, those people are still on strings and they're not, they're not really ever, until they get to the place where they can see it, where they can stop projecting or where they can stop having issues. Like you're, you challenging yourself and moving on and going to the next level and doing better to these people is not like a, oh my God, you're doing so well. We're happy for you. It, it, it's, it's more like a, well, what's wrong with my life? Well, I don't want your life. Well, what's wrong with my life? It's not for me. It's your life. If that's what you want. No, I hate my life. Okay. Then do something about it. No. Rich, rich, ritzy, fancy, pants, McGee, fuck you. Okay. Right? These people got this mask on and they're crying and they want you to cry too. Don't. Don't. Like I said, stop. Stop wasting your breath giving giving college level dissertations to these fifth graders because, like I said, you're not better than them. You're just at a different level. You're just at a different place in your journey than they are. You know, you can pray for them. You can hope that at one point that they will reach that part in their journey. And I'm sure they will at some point. You know, have faith in them. Know and, you know, keep your movements to yourself right now. There's a lot of things that, you know, and keep, keep your movements to yourself. Concentrate on being what you want to be on, doing what you need to do on healing yourself. Yeah. Because you're such a healer, you're such an enlightener, you're such a lover that, you, that you're like, oh my God, I healed myself, you know? But you can only give this energy or, or really show up for people who are like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to look at you, see how you did it, and now I'm ready to do it myself. There's not enough that you can pour into these empty people, to these people still on strings that will... There's not, there's not, there's no many, there's no amount of speeches that you can give them that will save them from their divine time of evolution. They have to do it themselves just like you did. They have to go on the hermit journey. They have to go on the hero journey just like you did. They have to find it inside themselves to cut their strings free and to get on that path and to follow the soul contracts that they have made, the soul contract lessons that they have made, but they're at a distance from that. That's them. They have to find that within themselves. And Spirit says, we understand that you're a lover, that you're a healer, that you want to heal these people, that you want to save these people, that you're like this angel spirit who just wants to keep these people safe and, and help them and, you know, see them along their way. But there's not enough that you can pour into them that will make them ready when they're not ready. And for a lot of you, these people aren't ready, but you are. And a lot of you are going to burn up a lot of your energy trying to pour into these people instead of pouring into yourself to, to get yourself. So you're turning around trying to level up and upgrade these people to level 10 when spirit is telling you, hey, you need to try to go to level 20. You need to stop worrying about these people. Let them get to level 10 themselves because they have to. They have to. These people have to get to level 10 themselves. Just like you did. You got to level 10 yourself. And they will have to get there too when they're ready. Mm -hmm. These people are going to have to go inside and figure it out themselves. But in the meantime, this destroyer energy right here, you know, you're self-destructing your own progress, pouring and pouring and pouring to people who, you know, you're trying and trying and trying, but it, it's, it's falling on deaf ears. Okay. And you might see some movement. You might see some level up in these people. And it's like, okay, great. But you can't hold back your progress to wait on these people to catch up. You can't. You can't. Because the more you stop, the more you wait on them, the more they're going to be in victim energy. The more you're going to put yourself in victim energy. The more you're going to put yourself, the more you're going to start attaching those strings back to yourself. It's not going to be them leveling up. It's going to be you dumbing yourself down. Are you like leveling down? Ooh. Oh, no. So you better get in your king energy. You better keep those strings cut and you better go on about your business. Mm -hmm, exactly. Spirit says for a lot of you, talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit. 
a lot of you feel this need to be this healer or to be this leader. You know, but you can only be that leader to people. One, for a lot of you, you got to get to level 20 before you're really going to be able to be able to really lead these people. And for a lot of you, a lot of these people that you're going to lead, they got to get themselves to level 10 and be ready to listen and be open and have a lot of their strings cut before they'll be able to say, before you'll be able to say, hey, I'm at level 20, but at one point I was at level five, just like you, or I was at level 10, just like you, but now I'm at level 20. And this is how I did it. And people are going to be like, ah, okay, okay. They weren't ready to listen at level five, but at level 10, they'll be ready. But you got to let them get there on their own. Because mm -hmm. Spirit said it's really important for you to keep your energy pure right now. Because right now you're pouring too much energy into this and to shape shift into what other people need you to be. You need to worry on you need to worry about what you need you to be right now. And not these people who need you to to shape shift and you know fill up their heart and fill up their wounds. You can't do that. They have to teach themselves how to fill up their wounds. They have to do it themselves. Wow. Okay. So spirit says if you're wondering why you keep being in this winter phase, it's because you're worried about everybody else being in their winter phase okay you need to worry about you okay <clears throat> and like i said spirit is also saying like hey yeah um we're gonna be sending you that what you need okay because you're really worried about all these people that are at level five when there's a person at level 10 that's, that's ready to do it with you. There's a person at level 20 who's saying, hey, or there, uh, you know what? That's not even because I was talking about how, you know, you need to be looking at examples of people who are le level 20 so you can, so you can upgrade to level 20 yourself. But there's also here in the 3D, there's someone here at level 10 that's like, hey, let's go to level 20 together. I'm ready. You know? Um, this person kind of has the energy of like, hey, you need to stop wasting your time with these level fives. Um, and you need, you need to focus on the fact that you need to go to level 20. We're both trying to go to level 20. Let's do that instead. Okay. And these people at level fives, one day they'll be at level 10. And when we're at level 20, they'll be much more willing when they're at level 10, you know, to be like, okay. And then when they're at level 20, you can be at level 30, you know? Okay. Well, that's what I have for you today. I hope that made sense. <laughs> you know, I hope my examples helped you understand what was going on. Um, thank you so very much. You know, excuse me. We need leaders at every level, but you need to kind of be leading within your level right now. And Spirit says it won't always be that way, but right now, you really need to do that. You really need to concentrate on that. And like I said, you don't need to demonize or you don't need to point fingers or you need to blame other people. I know for some of y'all, y'all, y'all are at a level 10 and y'all are dealing with some people who are at level two or three, you know, and you're sitting, th those are the rich, fancy pants, Maggie, you, those are those people, right? Those are people at level zero with that full card. Those are people that are at level zero that are looking at you like, oh, you think you're so fancy. You think you're so good at level 10. And you're like, some of y'all just need to let those people go. And some of y'all are kind of lingering around some people who are level fives. I don't know if you're scared to go to level 11 or if you're scared to be around level people who are level 10 or you don't really look in the mirror and you don't see yourself at level 10, but you might if you would stop hanging out with some level fives. Okay. That's all I'm going to say, you know, and I, again, I don't mean to make this like a, you're better than you're more advanced than you're smarter than, you know, it's just like I said, you know, you're. You're trying to give some college level dissertations to people who, you know, some of y'all are trying to give co college level dissertations to people who can't even read, you know, and you're like, I don't understand why these people hate me. Leave it alone. Okay. Leave it alone. And some of y'all that just people that you, that you're trying to describe what, you know, it reminds me of, you know, you were given your vision. Not everybody and your friends and your family, the people around you are going to understand your vision. Okay. That's why it was given to you because you understand it. It's your vision. Not everybody needs to understand it. Not everybody needs to approve of it. 
maybe nobody in your friends or your family approve or understand where you are. You know, it just depends on where they are on their awakening journey. Okay. On their awakened journey. And it's okay. Stop letting that hold you back. Stop letting that make you doubt yourself or have, you know, fear and doubt yourself, you know, because some of you, again, like I said, some of you are still really looking at yourself like level five, but you're sitting here talking about level 10 stuff, you know, and spirit is telling you like, it's time for you to pull yourself up and really look at what's going on. Cause there's no more strings on you. You're the one sitting there pulling the string and sewing it back on and spirit's like, do you really want to do that? And you're just kind of like, I don't know. And it's like, you know, you can't go back. You can put the string back on you, but you'll never not see them. You'll never not look around and see people being on the strings, like being controlled. And you're just like, ooh, <laughs> I, yeah. Like it's not, it, you're not going to be able to walk it back. You can't, once you know something, you can't unknow it. You can't unawaken. Like once you see it, you can't, it's something that can't be unseen. And for some of you, you're settling down into this like, no, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. It's too, it's too late. You already see it. So it's time to embrace it, to go out there and to face it. And I get it. Sometimes we can see and we can do things that, you know, once you start to see some of the, the craziness out there in the world, it's hard to unsee it. Once you learn some things on your journey, it's really hard to, to be like, to face it every day, you know? Because like I said, once you know, you're like, ooh, reptilian, ooh. Oh, that person's got a demon attack. Oh, that per oh, you know, it's hard. It's hard sometimes to walk throughout the world out there because it was like, wow, it was so much easier when I was just ignorant and I didn't know. <laughs> but was it really? Was it really when you had all your attachments to you, when you had all the strings being pulled on you, was it really easier? Or did it just feel easier? You know, because you really can't go back. And you're you're trying to slide back into something that feels comfortable or slide, and it's not going to feel comfortable anymore. Like you're not ever gonna you've out you've outgrown that, and you're never gonna be able to slide back into it and have it feel comfortable again. So the only way is forward. And it is going to be uncomfortable at first. There are there is gonna be some discomfort out there in the awakened world. But it's important for us to push through that discomfort and to find a to find a more comfortable zone in that higher vibration, in that in that lane of knowing. And yes, sometimes that's going to come with letting go of some things from our past because it, you're just not on the same frequency anymore. And there's going to be discomfort like it's not going to feel good. You know, sometimes like, you know how how sometimes you can. Um, did you ever like I don't know some people you know, are you just. You know, you hung out with people for forever. Maybe you were friends with them in high school or something like that. And then you went off to college and you started meeting new friends. You started new, knowing new things. And then maybe you went back home for, for, for break or, you know, oh, it's been a couple of years. And you go to meet up with those same high school friends. And you're just like, it's just not the same as it was. Like I've changed. You've changed. We're in different places. Like it's just you're, you're starting to realize, oh, uh, we just can't kick it like we used to because we're just not the same people anymore. We're not on the same level anymore. It just, it's not the way that it was in the past anymore. And it just, it can't be that way anymore. And for some of you, that five of cups energy, this five of cups energy is mourning the loss of that. You know, is mourning the loss of, wow, like, I can't unknow the things that I knew. I can't unsee the things that I see. I can't go back to having the same relationships that I had before when I was on the strings because I just can't do it anymore. I can't fake it anymore. I can't keep my mouth shut anymore. I can't not see the manipulation or see the lies or see it's like, damn, like I feel uncomfortable being around you and I can't feel that way anymore because I'm just... I see all the karma. Or I see like the, the connection, your trauma. I'm seeing how your trauma is, is blinding you from your own actions and the things that you're doing. And I can't unsee that, you know, it can be none of my business, but I can't unsee that. I need to be around people who aren't being driven by those instincts anymore. Okay. And spirit's saying, yeah, they get it. You're going to mourn it for a little bit, but don't let this mourning phase keep you in a sense where you don't see OK, the fact that you have to let go of some things, but new things are waiting around the corner. OK, 
And for a lot of you, you're going to have to put yourself out there and, and really find those new things. Okay. There might be some resistance inside of you. There might be some resistance from people in the past and it might feel heavy. Okay. But don't forget you're breaking out of these devil chains. You're breaking out of, of that. Okay. And on the other side of it is finding your foundation. All right. It's finding your stability, finding your truth. Okay. Finding your heart opening. And yeah, at, at sometimes it, it means mourning a life or goals or, or friendships or relationships that we just can't have anymore. You know, ideas that just, mm -mm. you know, and we talk about this on the spirit, on the spiritual awakening journey all the time. Like sometimes, you know, you have like favorite TV shows or favorite music or favorite foods. And then once you elevate past a certain level, you can't, you can't participate in it in the way that you used to. And you might feel like, damn, like I used to love this. I used to love watching this or I used to love doing this, but it brings down my vibe now. And you just, you're just gonna, there's some things you, you know, you just have to sacrifice on this journey. There's some things you just have to say, I don't vibe with this anymore, you know, and it's going to be some things where you're going to have yourself reaching back to those comfortable things and they're just not going to feel comfortable anymore, but that's okay. Mourn their loss for a second, but understand on the other side of that coin is now I get to discover that new thing. Now I get to discover that new comfort food. Now I get to discover that new comfort group of people. Now I get to discover that new comfort show or that new comfort activity that's more, that's actually more healthy for me, you know? So don't stay in this mourning phase for too long because... There's blessed new beginnings. When one door closes, another one opens, right? All right. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Do the YouTube things like, share, subscribe, okay? Uh, if you are, uh, you know, feeling the vibe. <laughs> if you're feeling the vibe, okay, go ahead and join the tribe, the stumbling tribe. We're here. We're just vibing. It's okay. I'm just a regular person, just like everybody else. <laughs> Oh, you got to laugh at yourself sometimes, okay? Um, comment down below if this resonated for you, you know, um, even if it didn't or even if you don't agree with everything I have to say, you know, I'm open for discussion. Just keep it calm and civil and respectful in the comment section down below. Appreciate you very much, okay? Um, and if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, my contact information is listed down below, okay? Uh, you're always welcome to hit me up in the email, okay? And uh, we'll get it popping from there, all right? Thank you to your spirits, angels, ancestors, guardians, and guides for guiding you here to get this information. I hope it gave you the love, light, or clarity that you needed in your situation, all right? Thank you to my angels, spirits, guardians, ancestors, and guides for guiding me through delivering this message as well as keeping me safe while they did so. I appreciate you guys as always, okay? And I will see you lovelies in the next one, okay? Bye! <laughs>